Hello, uh, baseball fans, and I just want to say congratulations, Braves. I'm so happy for that team. The Braves took the World Series in six games. That was my prediction on the social media, Braves in six. And um, took it to Crooked Houston. I mean the Astros. Um, it was a great series. The Braves were really the Braves were really in control. The long ball did it for them. They hit a lot of home runs, not just in the World Series, but the postseason overall. They hit twenty three home runs in in in, the, in this year's postseason. That is amazing. Even more amazing is the fact that Ozzy Albies didn't have any of them, and he's pretty good with the long ball himself. So, um, and this was good. This is really good. I was pulling. I was pulling for the Braves for many reasons. One, one, I've always kind of liked them. They're a fun team, especially back in the '90s when they were just there every in the postseason every year. Um, two, of course, they're playing Houston, and you know my you know my motto: cheaters never prosper, unless it's Tom Brady. But anyway, um, and. Uh, Three, and more more notably, what Atlanta has gone through in sports the last few years. Um, the city of Atlanta needed this championship because they needed something to kind of begin the process of uh, washing that 28-3 to stench off. And the Braves kind of had some, 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 some terrible postseasons before this one. We all remember last year, the 3-1 series lead, the NLCS, and the Dodgers came back on them. But they got they beat the Dodgers this time, but um, yeah. So it was a great series, great team. I like a lot of players in that team: Freddie Freeman, uh, Travis Darno, Dansby Swanson, Jock. I really like Jock. He's how about Jock though? That's back to back for him. <laughs> yeah, Jock is the Patrick Maroon of baseball. Though Patrick won three straight with two different teams: one with St. Louis in '19, and then had went to Tampa Bay and won back to back. So he's currently going for his fourth straight cup. But yeah, Jock made it back to back. Uh, last year in L.A. and now this year in Atlanta. Of course, he was with the Cubs first. He was with the Cubs first. Then he ended up, I think he was, no, um, the Cubs weighed him and he ended up taken by the Braves and the rest is history. Um, and this ring also comes with, despite the fact that they lost Ronald Acuna Jr. for the season. Acuna was tearing it up. He was tearing it up, and then he had that terrible injury. They were without Acuna, they were without Ozuna, they were without Mike Soroka. They lost Char Morton after Game One, and they still won. They had a they had a dominant pitcher before us by Max Fried, who has had who had a very iffy postseason entering Game Six, and that's all she wrote. The Braves did it. For the Braves, it's their fourth overall championship. They're the only team in baseball to win while representing three cities. They won as the Boston Braves way back in the day. They won as the as the um as the Milwaukee Braves. And they've been in Atlanta since sixty six and of course they won uh that ring in nineteen ninety five. And that's another thing. That's another good thing about this. It also kind of wipes away that whole thing that they're only the team in the nineties. Cause I remember that run. Um it went from ninety it went from ninety one through oh five. They won fourteen straight division titles. Of course, the first three, they were, the, they were the NL West, and then the divisions were aligned, and they moved to the NL East and won those every year. They won 14 straight division titles from 91 to 05. The thing is, though, that stretch only came with five pennants and only resulted in one championship against the Indians, uh, who are now the Guardians. Um, so this championship kind of removes, removes that narrative too that they were only had that great stretch then and nothing else has happened with them but um and 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 they won 80 they won 88 games which is a very which is a very low number it's only one more than the 2000 Yankees who won 87 games and um it was it was just it was just an amazing amazing season by the Braves and many kudos to them for pulling it out for getting the job done when it counted and hoisting that trophy. Great job. Great job. It's their, it's, it's their fourth overall championship. It's their second in Atlanta. And I think if you, if you, if you uh, add up the four major sports, because Atlanta has had the NHL twice, but both teams have since moved, the Braves remain the only Atlanta team to win championships. Because, you know, 
of course, the old the Hawks won their ring when they were in St. Louis. They haven't done it since since they moved to Atlanta. Of course, we know about the Falcons, and of course, the two hockey teams didn't go anywhere. Um, but um, it's just it's just crazy. It's just crazy. It's just amazing, amazing run by the Braves, and it gets it gets all the credit in the world as it should. Jorge Soler got MVP. Uh, the second Cuban-born MVP in baseball history. The first was Devon Hernandez during night. I remember that year, '97, when the Marlins won, which was also against Cleveland. Um, but yeah, um, great win by the Braves, and they really took it to Crooked Houston. There's that phrase again. <laughs> But uh, and they saved this from a big "I told you so" that would have been very nauseating to hear. The bottom, it's the facts are the facts. Without their, without their tinker toys, without their trash cans, without their hidden microphones, Houston can't win. This year proves it. Well, we didn't need, we didn't need this year to prove it, but this year definitely proves it. They can't win without cheating, plain and simple. <laughs> of course, let's face it. Let's face it, the only way to beat a team as great as the Yankees is to cheat. But anyway, um, speaking of the Yankees, I just want to give this fun fact. I just want to give this fun fact. The last time the Braves won the World Series, guess who won the year after? And I'm a big believer in omens. I am a big believer in omens. So, this could work. Uh... Though they did list, they did list the favorites right after the game ended. The Dodgers are favored, though that might change because they have a. They, they they need to try and sign some people. They need to try to code on some people. They might lose a lot of their key bats, uh, mainly uh, Corey Seager and I think Chris Taylor, could be out of there. Who knows? But yeah, right after, but right now the Dodgers are favored. Then it's Houston. They put Houston up there because it's Houston. I'm just going to make this bold proclamation. This is the last time we're going to see this Houston team in the World Series. I'm betting on it. I'm counting on it. We are not going to see that Houston franchise in another World Series. That's why. That's the reason why I'm so elated. I'm, I'm pretty much guaranteed. We will not see this Houston team in another World Series. They're not going. With the Yankees in the American League? And then, uh, forget it. Uh, and um, the Braves were listed third as famous to repeat. Well, that'd be something they went back to back. And fourth behind the, those three teams is the Yankees. So, um, again, I believe in omens. Last time the Braves won, the Yankees won a year after. So, yeah. So, what a season it was. A full season. A real season. And this isn't... <laughs> that 60-game 60, that 60 year was very hard to watch in, 20, uh, in 2020. I mean... The, the, the empty now obviously it was covert protocol and I'm definitely for covert protocol but but in other sports even even in other sports even when covert protocols affected basketball and hockey it was still pretty good and enjoyable baseball not so much only thing I really enjoyed that year was seeing the Dodgers win other than that nothing and uh, but this year we got a full season. There were people in the stands. There were a lot of no hitters this year. We almost had won the World Series, but um, yeah. So this was a pretty good, fun, and fruitful season, even though it was excruciating for this Yankees fan because I almost because uh, uh, my my mental health was pretty much in immense jeopardy after the season, especially that September where the Yankees were just ah. Even even with the 13 game winning streak, it was just oh well. The less I talk about it, the better. But um, yeah. So the so the the Braves, very once again, one more time, congratulations. You deserved it. It was well earned. You kicked ass. You took names, and you got a championship out of it. Good for you. And uh, we'll see what the off season. It, it, we'll see what the off season and what the um, following year brings us. But for now, that's my recap of this year's World Series. Uh, if you if you like this video, click the like button, click, click subscribe. If you want more of this, my in-game store recap stories on Vocal, six of them, all six of them, 
are in the description below so check out each of them for a little bit of reminiscing and uh, the next time I'll be on YouTube is to recap week 9 of the NFL season so stay tuned